Hey, today we're going to talk about why I bought a really slow table tennis racket. Why I would get a really slow ping pong paddle. First of all, I'm a coach and uh, I have a little bit of history with uh, going over using different types of equipment. The racket that I currently use would probably fall in the offensive minus uh, realm and uh, actually very very pleased with that one but I just purchased a really slow racket I went and ordered a Sweden defense paddle it's listed as defensive plus or defensive and got two sheets of 1.0 uh, Juic rubber um, and it's going to be super super slow. It's not the paddle I'm going to use to play but there's a reason I, ha I have for getting it. A um, little short history on my development with rackets was I started off like a lot of players getting something way way too fast. Not, not great for playing, didn't help my game at all gradually over the years moved to slower and slower and super slow blades and my game improved um, I started beating players that I didn't normally beat and just kept going till I eventually ended up with a three-ply racket with really thin sponge and at that point realized okay I took a good thing and went a little bit too far with it it's it's too slow and the good news was that going to the super slow paddle it did develop my strokes over time. Uh, I was trying to do that as an adult. I had some coaching to help me along the way. But although I took some lumps with that slow paddle, it actually did help. So uh, ended up reversing the uh, system and going back to the point of now I have um, a, a racket set up uh, basically uh, with some offensive abilities and uh, don't think I'm gonna go too much faster than this one but um, playing extremely well probably better than I ever have with this and uh, don't think I would have done it without having gone through using the slower paddle now as far as coaching goes a big mistake a lot of players make is getting a paddle that's too fast. Uh, it's the mistake I made. If you're out there shopping for your first racket, uh, that would be the thing to avoid. Um, there's a lot of different directions you can go, but uh, one of the biggest mistakes players make is getting something that's too fast. Uh, you could also get something that's too slow, but that's uh, less common. The point of getting this slow paddle, then, like I said, it's not something I'm going to use in matches, but um, it's something for players that are just starting out and they walk in the door and uh, for them to learn proper strokes with and maybe for some of the players that have learned most of the basic strokes and they're looking to try something different maybe we do some sessions with this super slow racket that allows them to feel the ball better uh, it goes slow enough that they can get the muscle memory with that with that racket and uh, having had some really slow rackets before uh, including a three three ply defensive blade uh, I know how great that feels it's in when you have used that you really don't want to let go of that that's why I was so slow to go to a faster setup uh, but Eventually, unless you're a pure defensive player and chopping and um, just play defense completely, then what you're going to see is that uh, eventually that you're going to need something faster. So the defensive blade is going to be something I can use for coaching, for people to learn new strokes, for them to really get a feel for the ball, which is probably the most important part of development as a table tennis player. Uh, so it might be something to consider as a purchase for yourself when you're learning new strokes for hitting with a robot, uh, just to really get a good feel for the ball. If you're learning to loop or do some more advanced strokes, try it with the really slow one first. Get it with that and then see 
how it works with the faster racket. And um, like I said, I think for a lot of players, the all around plus defensive minus range is probably a good place to be uh, for intermediate players, but you can really, really learn some good stuff by using that slow racket. It's an under, underrated uh, thing in table tennis, something a little, a little different that I think some coaches are learning that to, in order for players to really get the feel for the ball, they're gonna need a racket where they can really feel it. And um, some of the faster rackets just are not gonna do that for you as you're developing. All right, um, appreciate any comments you have on this. Uh, we're trying to do something, some table tennis videos that are just a little bit different. And um, so thanks for watching, appreciate it.